I want to start with congratulations. I've seen the first five episodes of the new season. It's fantastic. Fans are going to love it. Um, Thank you. What was Thank it? you. What was it like, actually, for you guys reading the scripts for the first time? Because the scale and scope of this season is, like, massive. I mean, we weren't really that surprised because the Duffer Brothers always bring it more and more each as each season goes. So I, I don't think we were that surprised. Um, but watching it is a different thing than reading it because reading it, you're like, okay, that sounds intense. And then watching it, you're like, oh my, yeah, like right. it's, so it's so insane. different when you actually like see it come together. Yeah, I think that is more like that, that kind of revelation of knowing that the scale and scope of it is so much bigger. It, it, it's, it's more of a visual thing for me um, rather than maybe reading it on paper. And you kind of something interesting that I noticed, like you, what you don't see in the script, but you see like in when it comes together is how they transition between all the different stories and different places and the, they do the it shots. so clever like, i know how, i know like people it's just so i, 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 I love, love i know exactly what you're talking about too. yeah yeah i i love that that some of those transitions in the music in episode one there's this amazing transition of me and then sadie and i just love it like it's a really cool shot that really? they do yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind of talented the filmic filmmaking just, yeah you know, they're kind, somewhat they're somewhat yeah. You know, kind of. I'm I'm so curious, though, for you guys, because Stranger Things has been such a huge part of your lives for so long. And you're you're kind of in the end game now in terms of, you know, there's one more season of filming. Um, has it sort of hit you a little bit that like you're nearing the end? Have you thought about that at all? I mean, it's definitely something that we're 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 rejecting to accept. We're, we're not ready for it just yet. And I think we've said this before, but we, we're the last persons to accept it. You can talk to anyone before us and mm -hmm. we, we, we are not ready for it. No. So it's going to be a hard goodbye when it comes, but I think we'll always be in each other's lives and always keep in touch. And yeah, this show will obviously have a very important kind of stamp on all of our lives. Mm. Uh, Matt and Ross told me that episode seven and episode nine of this upcoming season uh, are like movies in terms of the length yeah. and, and how much story and how much is sort of revealed. Um, for Do you guys think at the end of the season, spoiler free, of course, that fans are going to be yelling at the television or accepting, do you know what I mean? Uh, because it sounds like that finale is going to be massive. Uh, no, I think maybe, maybe yelling. Maybe yelling. I think you're going to yell. But not too loudly. I don't like yelling. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I think uh, you guys are going to be yelling for sure. It's a it's a wild ending for sure. When you think back on the four seasons, is there a shot or sequence that uh, still gives you nightmares in terms of the challenges as an actor trying to pull it off? Oh yeah, there's a scene in episode. Uh, sorry, there's this um in season three. There's um, a shot of me falling oh. through the dream sequence. Uh, I'm going through Dacre, uh, sorry, I'm going through Billy's uh, memories. And uh, it was a dream sequence and I, I'm doing like a falling shot and it's a really cool shot, but I had to be on this insane, like kind of like lift. You know, like the baby things where people, they, they bounce like, a, you know, like in those little baby toys. That's what I was in, but like, really high up in the air and then I just had to keep spinning and I just kept vomiting. <laughs> so I think every time I watch that in season three, I get like nauseous again. Um, so that's that physically, it was so unbelievably challenging for me. Um, yeah, really nauseating. <laughs> um, I think for me, oh, so many. I mean, I think in season two, when I, when I was, there was one scene just like at the end when they were getting the monster out of me and it was like the exorcism scene and I was just screaming like all night and it was so demanding because it was like, there were so many angles and shots that they had to do. And for each shot, like you have to give your all, you can't like half ass a shot. So there's every different angle and every different shot is just constant screaming and, and everything. And it was like all the way up until like six in the morning of like, like, it's just so much and it, it's a mic guy just probably oh yeah sorry and then <laughs> and then oh my god it was just so demanding and i it was it turned out well but you don't need to do it again no thank you so much for your time and seriously congrats on a great season yeah thank, thank you, you so much